Singapore is investigating new ways to protect its southwest coast from rising sea levels. National Water Agency, PUB, has called a tender to explore the feasibility of measures like storm surge barriers, barrages, and even raising the land. The two-year study could cost up to $3 million. It's expected to start later this year. Melissa Go reports. Singapore's southwest coast features many economic drivers. Marine, shipping, logistics and manufacturing, all of which are at the whim of the tides, with sea levels expected to rise by up to a metre in less than 80 years. This could go up to five metres if met with extreme high tides and storm surges, enough to flood a third of the island. Barrages with navigation locks or storm surge barriers may be the answer. PUB will study how feasible it is to install them at two key channels between Jurong Island and the mainland. This would be the first time such coastal barriers would be used in Singapore. Storm surge barriers, it will remain open most of the time. But when the time comes when the sea levels are high, when there's a storm surge coming in, these barriers will then be closed. Look at the Thames barrier at London, as well as the Massam barrier in Netherlands. These barriers effectively hold out high water levels during the events of surge and high waters, preventing this from flooding inland. In the case of the barrage, it's there, it's closed most of the time, but we will design, we will make provisions for navigation lock gates at the site to allow limited navigation traffic to pass through. So at a glance, you can already see why the study is important. It covers key landmarks like the Pasir Panjang Terminal, which is just one of the ports included in the area. Apart from that, Jurong Island, which is home to Singapore's energy and chemicals industry. And further down the line, Tuas and Jurong, which is also where many other key businesses are located. And not to forget West Coast Park, where I'm standing at. Also under consideration, raising the ground levels, especially for some low-lying coastal areas here. Factors including cost, the plans for the land, impact to industries and maritime traffic will be assessed. We'd want to do it when maybe the, the land was going to be repurposed or the infrastructure there was going to be renewed and upgraded. Um, but it, and it, it is an expensive option because it, you have to find the material with which to raise the land. Professor Nichols adds that the different solutions could even be combined to better protect the coast. But perhaps just as important as learning to live with rising seas would be for countries to cut their emissions to stem the tide.